Welcome back everyone to another episode of Shade TV. My name is Marissa Hill and today we'll be covering a collaboration done with Jerry Lorenzo's Fear of God Athletics and the Adidas team, this time on the Adelette slide. Let's take a quick sneak peek. Welcome back everyone to another unboxing and review. If you're joining us for the first time, welcome in. Be sure to hit that subscribe button down below if you're not already subscribed to the channel and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy these unboxings and reviews. All right, so today we are covering a, another one of Jerry's collaborations that he's done with Adidas, this time on the Adelette slide. We've done many different Adelette slide color variations on the channel. If you haven't checked those out already, be sure to go back, check those videos out. Uh, but today we'll be covering his variation and version of the Adelette. We'll talk about some key differences in the overview, jump into size and fit on these, followed by how I style this very clean colorway. Then we'll conclude with how these are currently doing on the resale market. Let's jump right into it. For those of you who are fans of just getting every type of slide, this probably is something you may be snagged a pair of. Uh, as far as the quality in comparison to your typical Adelette slide, this is a very different slide than what we're used to seeing. As far as the footbed goes you can definitely feel and see that the footbed was upgraded a ton as far as the strap overlay here this is very high quality as well i even noticed that there was a made in italy on the bottom here uh, so definitely getting some more premium materials used for a slide which slides typically when i buy them you know they're kind of almost a throwaway type of piece where i feel like it can really destroy them this definitely feels like it has a higher end touch to it uh, and then again we're seeing this nice just clean leather stripe across the overlay here so bringing a little bit more higher quality materials to a slide which you typically don't see uh, as far as the majority of color of this though it is just a very clean white tone uh, and again just kind of the feel of the slide itself the Adelette, you're not going to feel different placements for your foot in the molding here, which you are getting on this variation. Uh, again, the texture of it will keep your foot as well from sliding in and out. I feel like with the uh, standard Adelette slide, my foot does not sit well in here. You can see that there is kind of this uh, incline and decline in the portion here. So this is definitely going to keep your foot more snug in place in the slide versus the Adelette slide. I feel like it is so wide that my foot really doesn't stay and hold in place. Uh, as far as branding goes, very minimalistic. The only branding you're gonna see on the side here for fear of God is right there and it's very clean in that white tone. And then the outsole has some nice gripping as well. So you're not gonna literally slip and slide in these because of that grip placement on the bottom with these little suction cups. As far as the box goes, you are getting that premium box that you're getting with the other sneakers that released with this specific drop as well with this rubberized uh, three stripes on the top and a nice just basic beige box to match and complement the slides itself. Uh, as far as the drop as well, lots of different things that released a whole clothing uh, capsule that released with these alongside uh, some Rivalry 86 lows as well as the LA Runner and we are still awaiting the release of the basketball silhouettes. All right, so let's take a look at all these details then jump into size and fit.
As far as size and fit goes, I typically size down my slides just because it's open toe. So I went with a seven on this and I feel like it fits me to a T. All right, so now let's talk about styling. So as far as the capsule collection, I did pick up one piece, which you can see here. It is this heavy three fourth mock neck. Uh, I got it in a very oversized uh, size range just because I wanted to fit more like a sweatshirt. And I paired this with some basic essentials, black sweatpants. And then as far as the other two pieces, they're all essentials line as well. So I wore a minty, fresh green mock neck sweatshirt with some matching sweatpants. And then some essentials black shorts with a knitted essentials hoodie. If you were not able to afford all the pieces from the capsule collection, definitely recycle some of those essentials pieces. They work so well with these slides as well as the other sneakers that released. And huge shout out to Seth and Apothecary. I will be doing a sock collaboration with them. And of course I had to pair my slides with the sock that I will uh, be releasing with them December 15th. You can see Apothecary and Shade branding on the front of the toe box here, which will pop through perfectly in these slides. I definitely had to bring out and rock a pair of the white pair just because I feel like it matches so perfectly. And again, this is the perfect slouch comfortable sock, which will complement any slide that you have in your current collection now. All right. Now, as far as the retail goes, these retailed at $100 and there are sizes still available. So if you were not able to uh, pick up a pair during the initial launch of these, they are still on uh, the Fear of God website as well as confirmed. So try and snag a pair if you can. That is it for this unboxing and review. If you join us for the first time, thank you so much. Be sure to hit that subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up. My name is Marissa Hill. This is Shade TV. We'll catch you all next episode. <laughs>